you are talking about? about? If Look, if we are moving, you can if you want to move this thing forward, there are certain boards. No, I agree. You have to take it. I agree that Odoi is not. Didn't you see him in Afcon? Recovery was very bad. All the goals we considered from that end, didn't you see him? Play with and come this far. Like yeah, like 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 no. Conference the league game. No. That. That's why the coach, wait, not the player. No, I don't go. Where that game? Then, the 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 whole match. Conference league. Like, like, not the future said, mostly in the conference. He don't go be up. So if the manager, why he won't make it start the final? This is the manager. In the final, he come inside. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Malam Go Podcast. My name is Fentu Tahir Fentu. Even before they started the show, coach is arguing over some things. Atamelo, coach. Argument that was going on before the start of the show. I mean, I don't even know what they're arguing you know, about. I'm trying to, to start the show. Somebody has working. done some but guys, that thank you very much. Sense. Welcome back yeah. to Charlie. the Betway Ghana uh, <laughs> channel on YouTube. This is my Go broadcast by <laughs> Betway. I'm Fentio. This is Daniel. Oh, no, That's Achu. Uh, and then, of course, uh, <laughs> what is your name? Sue. <laughs> <laughs> the day this man will stop playing football. Si, 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 he will die. Oh, but if you have a stop, I will stop playing watch more. Why would you die watch football? Uh, coach Christopher Dimbley is here as well. <laughs> coach, we, we have seen the like, likes. Coach, of, last week we you missed you. Seen in your life, a player who is better than Ronaldo. It's like someone hasn't been there before. Are you comparing Ronaldo to the phenomenon? Who is phenomenal? Oh, Charlie, let's be serious. Charlie, let's be serious. What let's are you talking about? about? He's played more for three, three years. You think you're serious? My three for, years is better than yours. So many years. He's not true. Phenomenal. If you like, look, he's not better than Ronaldo. You don't know what play pass. Ronaldinho. Tell Betway. You see, you, Brazil, you, you know watch more. Guys, guys. You, you know watch more. Yeah, yeah, I'm paying watch more. You know what? Listen, that show. That show. Look, ah, somebody I, I'm not going to moderate again. This Fence. is what they do. And every Fence. week, the people will come under Fence. the comments and Fence. call me a shit moderator. Fent, I beg you. You beg me for what? I beg this thing. Let me introduce the Make topics. Make organize a pool. Eh? Brazilian Ronaldo, the original phenomenal Ronaldo, has done what? The current Ronaldo, uh -huh. who will be the better footballer or the better. That's not our topic. You, no, you, you want to debate that, that now? Just, just put that. Who is there. the better Ronaldo? There's only one Ronaldo. Who, There's who one is that? The Brazilian one. It's not Tell me why. Oh. Yes. He why is he better than this for one? Two years without playing football. Uh -huh. When he comes, he wins the World Cup. That's With right. Chicky That's right. Uh, With chicken eats. Uh, That's is right. No difficulty yes. at all. Yes. And another Please. one plays with and chase back. Oh, and chase back. He chased back. Every day, Jim. Commander. Zububa. Ah, then is the best player, is the greatest player ever. No World Cup to show. No World Cup to show. Nothing to show. You see, you see the moderator again. <laughs> Nothing to show. Since you got hair, the hair has been stomping on the brain cells. Coach so is you making know, his point. And you are here, give me a hair. You are happy. Ah, Masa, introduce your team. When you leave Europe, you will play with Capuchas, yes. Masons, yes. Uh, uh, Welders, yes. they, they, they yes. take Goki, they eat ah, You remember Jose Mourinho's fantastic story about El Femme? You know, when they first Look. signed him for Barcelona. Look, have you ever he seen? He said preseason. Have you ever seen? They say, yes. Anybody compare El Phenomena to any player? Yes. Nobody. Yes. You can't compare him to Yes, Ronaldinho was a better footballer. What are you talking about? Yes. Better footballer how? Oh, what, do you, what do you understand? No, no, I, I want to get, I'm not saying, I'm not saying he's wrong. I want to understand the parameters. Ronaldinho was a better player. Define. How? Just say, are Look, you saying he was more how, skillful? How, how, wait, wait, wait. Of course, himself. he was more skillful. Okay, good. Even no, no I, want to, I, know, I want to define Look, the, the, even, the parameters. I, 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 even Ronaldo. But, but, but he wasn't right. more prolific which, for sure. Was he a striker? Was Ronaldo a striker? Oh. But you are Is Ronaldo a striker? Is Ronaldo a striker? Ronaldo no, no, makes him super. But even now, he's a striker. He didn't start as a striker, but he's now a striker. What are you saying? And since he turned 30, he scored more goals than your striker who has played a striker. Strikers throw all his life has scored. Has scored. Charlie, don't move. Don't go there. He was a striker. So wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Against Mole Mole players. When he was in Roma, he was playing against Zuko Banza. You are, so, you are adding all those goals to it. Ah, yeah, Mole Mole players. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. With Messi, with, 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 no, no, with He with set that record before oh, Saudi. What are you talking about? So unless you are saying Man U, Man U, Premier League, and Juventus, and Syria, and La Liga, and Mole Mole. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. You can't compare him to the phenomenon. No, we understand. No, we agree. You're on the same pitch. No, 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 I've introduced the show. They just won't let me introduce my topic. You go on. 
Uh, we don't watch football. We don't, we don't care. But no, after football, you know, started watch watching. We have watched. Obolo 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 today, Obolo today I've been very Ronaldo. disciplined. Obolo today I've been very disciplined. Guys, Cristiano Ronaldo or Ronaldo ah. El Fabino. El, El, El what? Phenomenal. Oh, phenomenal. You know phenomenal. Ah. Yes. El Phenomeno. It's Portuguese. I'm not Portuguese. Oh, phenomenal. The phenomenal. Okay. So I can't. Say the Obolo do. Twin Ronaldo. That's the one that people can Which one is the Obolo, Obolo Twin Ronaldo? Ronaldo. Was he or Bolo when he was playing the football? Have you seen? Uh, That's what I'm saying. He let Ronaldo. His knees were gone. That's why for two years uh, he can't. He he set the record straight. He set the record straight. That's right. But for his knees, that's right. (laughs) You see, but on a more serious note, I feel like uh, Ronaldo, uh, the Brazilian Ronaldo. I feel like injuries have robbed us of a very what would have been. But he was a generational talent. There's no doubt. I've had a. He's not alone it? in that. You had other great players. Marco Van Basten. Van Basten is another one. Three Ballon d'Ors by the age of 28. It's ah. unbelievable. This is an you know. Look, um, wait, was wait, it? I who? Mac- if Paolo Mardini, uh-huh. if Paolo Mardini yes. can call all his defenders to say, "Come and help me. Make sure you don't move away from me. Stay close to me. Help me, Mark." Look, Mardini, the whole way, no defender. So listen, I, that wasn't that was not even the only story. You remember the story that uh, Marcel Desai told about yes! when he was at AC. He said in in Maldini's entire, entire career, life, he was only scared of one, one player. player. Yeah, that's who he played against when he's prime. Uh, so that's fine. But he yes. would have handled this Ronaldo. El Fem- he said he El- have, only El Femino scared him. Would have, would have. You know. But Ronaldo you know, bottom, actually called but, himself handle. Bottom line is no, that but the point is, I, man, listen. No, but, I, I, love, I love Ronaldo. He was a great striker, brilliant ability. He would finish the ball. But you see, when we talk about footballers and some of the achievement they've done, oh man, it is Messi and Ronaldo here, and every other person, Zidane, uh, Ronaldo, all of don't them call, are here. Don't add and Ronaldo I'm, I'm, to Messi. But even make no, that mistake. No, yes, yes, yes. Don't I'm, make that yes, mistake. You see, you see, draw you the see, distinction. No, don't say no. It hang is on. Messi here, yeah. coach. El phenomenal. You can't. Here. You Ronaldo can't. It's the same. Here, until Ronaldo, what are you talking about? Until, until, until Cristiano Ronaldo, not even Messi. Until Cristiano Ronaldo, it was impossible to be world class for five consecutive years. That's a good point. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, two hundred seven. Ronaldo and Messi redefined consistency. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Ronaldo started that level before Messi joined. Messi was always good. Messi no, had Messi, injury problems. Than me. No, no, no. You start playing as of, before. As of 206, they what were are all you talking playing. about? Messi was in Barca. Messi was always brilliant. Everybody knew. Messi, remember 207, 208, that Messi had his own injury problems. Ronaldo 207, 208, 208, 209, 208, he didn't look back. For five years, he was world class. Messi from 208, 209, 209, 210 going, he joined that pool. I'm saying that until these two, it was impossible for any single individual footballer to be at that level for even five years. You see? So when I'm talking about players who have proven and done it yeah. over and over, I admire Ronaldo. I admire Ronaldinho. I admire Zizou, mm-hmm. Figo, all of them. They know, but even they will tell you. They are not on that level. Even though they will tell you that what these no, two I guys have done. I agree with you. What like, these two was, guys have done. It's but, possible. But, but, but when a player, you also when cannot player, be dismissive when a player of, gets of consistency. When the, yes. I feel like it's only when it comes to Cristiano and uh, by extension Messi that we like to now diminish the value of all of the things that we tell players when they are growing up and say, you cannot be great if you are not disciplined. You yes. cannot be great if you do not take care of, of your yourself. nutrition. Yes. But when it comes to Ronaldo, we we, we want to squash all of that aside. We want to understand that, that as normal. Drinking, but Ronaldo stayed consistent. Yeah. Cristiano <laughs> stayed consistent <laughs> because of It wasn't of a joke. That. Yeah. Look, look at Eddie Hazard. <laughs> Don't go too far. <laughs> Ronaldo's own mates at Manchester United. Yes. Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Imagine what Rooney could have become if it was if, disciplined a little bit more. So, so you the cannot simply I'm say... Is this, the point I'm making uh-huh. is this. The Brazilian Ronaldo, when he left Holland and came to Spain, his level of consistency, nobody doubt. He only became inconsistent when the injuries started coming. Coach, that that boy, but for injuries. Three seasons. Oh, Massa. It was one season with PSG, one with Barcelona. Masa. PSV, then uh, 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 Inter Milan. Then he got injured. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yes. So when he yes. came, was he got injured yeah, before? He slept for two years without playing football. When he came back, we saw what he did. I agree. Right. But that Fair injury enough. was guys, a problem. Guys, all right, let's, I beg you. Like Coach said, he called for a debate. We'll do it another time. Yes, Correct? let's okay, do this cool. debate Fair another enough. time. Uh, for, for me, like, 
this is one of the things I I I I loved about Ronaldo. He's also his football IQ. You remember the video that came out? I think was it uh, was it something? I think it was from last year. Which of the Ronaldo? Where, is it the for me? El for me, Brazilian Ronaldo. Probably. Where they asked him to name his ideal, like his all-time best. Yeah, 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 yeah. He gave a starting lineup that absolutely blew my mind. Yes. Did you remember? Did you remember? Yeah, I remember. Yes, I, you, I just can't remember the players he called. Buffon. He said goal. Buffon. Half who are right. Those were players he had played with. I remember. Mm-hmm. No, no, I didn't play. All with time. He didn't play with Madini. Yeah, he played before. Yeah. Who Buffon? Yeah, Ronaldo didn't. No, play no, no, no. Okay. So it's all time. So all time. Okay. okay. So he picked Buffon in goal. Kafu are right back. Mm-hmm. Maldini and Cannavaro yes. are centre back. Uh, sorry, Maldini are left back. Cannavaro and I think uh, Lucio. Was it, was it? No, it wasn't Nesta. It's was Cannavaro and some other player like that. Hold on, let me just Google it real quick. Um, it was. Uh, oh, it was yes. It was Maldini and. Uh, and Cannavaro as center back. Yeah. And Carlos, Carlos on left back. Yeah. Roberto, thank yeah. you. Roberto Carlos. Then the midfield three was probably <laughs> Zidane, Pele, and Maradona. Yes. And then the front three. He said Messi. Messi, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he can't go without those two. He, they know. No, I, I know, yeah, but I'm saying that that is some yeah, wild. Yes, so that's what I'm saying. That's like what I'm saying. Even, 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 even the football Ronaldo knows. No, there is a way no, players. No, 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 do you think him. if you ask Cristiano Ronaldo, he to has dropped his Me, best Pele and one. Maradona into midfield. So yes, that is, is, yes that's what Ronaldo. I'm saying. That that's what I'm those saying. Those two guys are. I'm telling you. No, nobody is disputing whether they are. No, they are here. They are here. They are here. But they know. They are here. Everybody is here. Go to Ronaldo right now. Ask him whether. You should mention his odd, but but but, but, but see, the friends, one accent. thing that I think even perhaps Ronaldo himself or phenomenon himself will be humble enough to admit is the versatility of Cristiano and how even in the face of evolving tactics, changing trends of the modern game, yeah. Ronaldo still has not only, only stayed relevant but has been a 99th percentile performer. Charlie, I think you insulted by. Why are we even discussing him with yeah. him? Okay, guys. Uh, look, listen. Hello. Today we no, want to talk about. Today we want to listen. Today we want to talk about black stars. Okay. The greatest we'll, we'll get... player ever. <laughs> sure. Today we want to talk about black stars. Um, Ghana has two very important games coming up. Okay, against Mali on June uh, June six. Okay, uh, it's a World Cup qualifier, and against Central African Republic on June ten. The Mali game is away in Bamako. The Central African Republic game is at home in Kumase. Otuado is returning as head coach of the team. Remember, we've already had a conversation about what he's bringing on board. He supervised two games. We gave you a full episode about what lessons we picked from uh, those two matches back in charge. Now he's released another 26-man squad uh, for these two matches. And there have been some very interesting uh, conversations around the squad. I personally don't think it's controversial, but there have been some big name omissions. For example, uh, Baba Rahman is missing, and um, well, evidently, the captain, Andre Ayu, is missing as well, despite what many believe to have been a very good season from him and performance wise, perhaps merited a place. There have been two uh, debutants, uh, Silamana uh, of uh, Cagliari. Holding midfielder DM is included in the squad. Uh, and there's also, uh, what's the name of the striker? Brandon Brandon Asante. Asante. Uh, mm. Also from, oh, what's coach? What's your problem? Mm. You continue. Uh, talk. Uh, he's also being included. He's a striker. Uh, played in the championship last season. Scored 11 or 12 goals. So had a decent season. Um, So bottom line is, in this episode, we're going to talk about with the current squad, how will Otto Ado line up against Mali? What best options does he have? And what the guys make of the entire squad overall? This is what we will be discussing. There have been some key exclusions as well because of injury. Inaki Williams is not available. He's injured. Dennis Otto is injured. Joseph Pencil is injured. Who else is injured? There was a long list. Huh? Ashmeru is, is injured. He didn't mention Odo. Athana Lajay. I'm a fan. He may. 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 He
Why is he he's injured? injured. Ah, hey, he's an old man. Why so is he injured? The point I'm making is, how's, how's the point I'm making is if, Chris, if he's not injured, he how is his age relevant? relevant? You put him somewhere. Why? Why? Even if the coach needs well, that, that's a good point to make. I'm just saying that he's it's injured. not even a good point. The coach, no, he that's, that's, that's his point. That's his point. He can say the coach will move on. Why? Right. Right. Because right. it's, it's good. It's fine. But it's a good point. No, it's not. So the coach will determine. That's his point. That's his view. No problem. Actually, no problem. Actually, you have a problem with that. We need to be a bit open-minded in some of these things. Actually, today is your day. You must say I'm not open-minded when I say the coach has his plan. No, he didn't say you are not. No, but he's trying to say that. No, we need. He said he's not old. The mere fact that you are saying that he's old, so you should not say. No. Uh-huh. If you are dropping Andre uh-huh. because of the fact that mm-hmm. you are doing proper transition, he you want to move. I mean, if you tell listen you. to the man, that is what he intends to imply. No, he see. says that to imply. You see, you see, that is the biggest problem we have in this country. So let, let that is why we will continue to suffer. Yes. Let's not use our uh, assumed right, meaning cool. what, as you to say okay, that this is okay, the real. Okay. What's okay. when an old man? You right. have to move uh, away. Coach, How old coach. is he? 32 years. Why? 30, 34. He just Why? won the league in Belgium. Why? Oh, no, no, no. Kafu signed for AC Milan at 34. At the, when they did this, he was chewing the grass. Yeah, oh. Did you hear what that you said? He said, Kafu signed for AC Milan, Milan at 34. 34. Are you me, I'm surprised. And he went on to become an AC Milan legend. Are you to Kafu? I'm prepared to give the coach the benefit of the doubt. He determines the outlook of his team. He knows what the metrics are. If in his wisdom, Denis Odoi can serve a purpose for him, I'll give him the benefits of the doubt. When I see Agreed. it play out, then yes. I judge it. Yes. But I until mean. then, to so see, I, from I, what I, I saw yes. and from what I have seen, uh-huh. even the last AFCON, recovery-wise, forward thinking. Yeah. Def- Honestly, I don't think Zuku, Odoi, Odoi is a What are you talking anyway. about? If, there's Look, we are moving, if you want to move back. this team forward, yeah. there are certain board No, decisions. I agree. You have to take I agree that Odoi, Odoi is and not. Didn't you see him in AFCON? Bro. Recovery was very bad. All the goals we considered from that end, didn't you see him? Coach, guys, I don't even need to watch your coach play. When you watch Ghana's best performance at the World Cup, Emmanuel Ajimambedu, was he the most disciplined oh. central midfielder you've come Ajimambe across? Ajimambe. Were there no question the marks? Cup. Were there no question marks about his? I have a, I have a question. Game. That was a young have, player have a, yes. who we knew can develop. I'm coming. You're talking about a player I'm who coming. is declining the, the care. The points I'm trying to establish I, yes. is that there is always going to be question marks about certain players a coach would call. If the coach believes he can make it work. Actually, hang on, hang on, mm-hmm. hang on. Before you continue. You see, there is other like that Jumabidu example is. Jumabidu is like Nyama, yeah. Ibrahim Osman. At the time, he was close to that. Just come from under 20 and what have you. Went to the AFCON, he was decent, you've gone on. Now, I'm saying that Ajman Bedu could have been excused because he expected the more experienced heads to carry him along. Odoi is an experienced head. Oh, but in the Who context plays of the national in a very, team, in a very dicey Ajman position. was more experienced than Odoi. No, no, In no, the no. context of the national no, team. No. Ajman Bedu had gone to the under-20 okay. World Cup. He had gone to the right, AFCON guys, in 2010. Can we, can no, we before the World Cup. No, All right, but he was an inexperienced uh, player. And no, not in the context of the national no, team. No, yes, even the national team. He may Can have been to the right. 20 World Cup. Listen to me, the two of you. Will you oh, shut fans, up? You're making, a, you're making a serious point. Yeah, it's a serious point. Why, 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 because because the guy may have been young, but he had more mileage at the national team than Odoi currently has. No, Odoi has been to two tournaments. Odoi has been to how many tournaments? Relax, relax. Charlie, when the people comment, they say this talking over, talking over. Yeah. If he's not done, then you laugh. Then you come. No, no, he finished. He finished. He finished. He was fed to get his. That's what I was fed to do. He finished. I don't know he's finished. Tally. And I'm saying that Odoi has been to two tournaments. Yeah. On the back of, before those tournaments, he's played a lot of football and he's started something years. He's a more experienced campaigner than Adjman Bedou at the time who had not played a lot of games. I'm saying that Odoi in the position in which he plays is a peculiar position. That history in football has shown us that players of a certain age and ability don't necessarily thrive in that position. He is a fullback. For a fullback, up you bound up and down. I don't know why. At the moment, we saw it for. Yeah. Didn't you see? So I agree with Coach didn't when he says it. Didn't you see? Huh? Yeah, so, but Coach, I think the, that the, is, I think I choose point is you could make like you can say you can't assume automatically that if he were if he was fit, he would not be called. Okay. Let's no, go. Not even that he will not be called. See, he that the coach cannot make it work. If you look at Cavallo oh. these days. If you look at him as purely just a fullback, you would assume he's going to be horrible. But whenever Real Madrid play, he he gets some of the best support. He has some of the best support to you. I don't know. Uh, he's yeah. one of the, he has the he's still sharp, still quick. I'm coming. He covers well. I'm he's coming. still a good example. I'm coming. He has some of the best support systems he have, which is independent of his own natural ability. Because every time Madrid have to move forward, and he gets forward a lot, he has the insurance of Valverde. I'm just saying that 
if the coach believes he can create the right tactical context so be for the player to no, wait, wait. Let me ask a simple question. Uh-huh. What does Odoi have that the coach has to sacrifice the balance of the team to make him thrive for? Because he's not a good cross of the ball. He's not good in the final third. He doesn't dribble. He doesn't You're assuming he's going to sacrifice the balance of the team. No, he will. We haven't no. seen that yet. No, he will. If he's a fullback mm-hmm. and he bumps up, one midfielder necessarily has to go there to cover or the back line has to slide that way to cover it. So some way, somehow, something has to give. And Real Madrid so do it all I, the time. So if I get you guys, what, what, what the two of you are trying to say is that all those injuries should not be deemed as a mess. Well, that's, uh, that's it. That's what they are trying to do. The point I'm making is that mm. even if he's under that's what I'm saying. So it's not that shouldn't be in the team. If so I shouldn't you know say that you're about. Yeah, and the grounds of uh, the previous okay. two tournament. We bottom line, yeah. I'm not going to get. I can't disagree right. with what you're saying. Bottom line, uh, luckily for you, you do have a very young, enterprising right back in the team, Harry Clamty. And Ali hey, Dusey, do we, we saw in the World Cup? Uh, World Cup, those two, <laughs> <World Cup. laughs> those two, no, 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 no. so those two seem and look very capable yeah. in the absence of Dennis Otoy, uh, nonetheless. Um, listen, uh, lots of talking points around the squad. I know everybody has opinions on what they want to pick on, what they want to touch on. So I'm not going to direct this in. I'm not going to take this in any direction. I'm just going to ask you, what did you make of that press conference? Everything that came out of it, including the squad coach, you get the first bite. You see, because you know my stand on this matter, <laughs> you intentionally want me to talk first. You're not yes, here so last that, to, you you know, know, no, 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 no. People have actually missed okay, you. Okay, so they've missed me. So you talk first. Then no, I'll no, talk no, you <laughs> talk first. No, you know, coach. You see, he to be good you, because then you come. No, I know no, 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 no. You see. That is a diabolical tactics. <laughs> you see, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. You have the first go. No, don't do that. You see, he's do waiting what for what people to pass on places. What, then is, you what, start. Is, what is it that you want to say that you no, can't say first? No, he's no, waiting see? for you to say something. <laughs> then you come me, and punch a hole. Me, then, the then presser. He, I didn't listen. I didn't watch. Okay. It is the team I want to comment so on. About so, it. so talk about no, it. So talk about Press our first man team. No, no, no. What are you talking about? You see, look at this. Hey, view it. You see, these are diabolic the tactics. They know where well, I'm going to. They want to push me. Ahead, so that, no, no, no. Don't do that. Let's talk and, about the team. Yeah, talk then we'll talk, no, pr- talk about the talk about the press first. I want to hear the sort of things he said during the press office. I've not listened to it. I was Which we didn't listen. <laughs> talk about uh, the team. Don't do uh, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> DK, don't do that. So <laughs> that <can't> start. <laughs> ah, see you. I was not a presser, but of Forget course. Forget the press and pull. No, no, you saw no, the no, stories that no, came out of it. No, I listened to bits and pieces of it. I was busy, so I listened to bits and pieces. I, I, I thought the presser was a more relaxed atmosphere. He, he looked lively. Yeah. Um. He, he attempted to speak the tree. You know, in trying to respond <laughs> to a question that was posed in tree. He's blending in nicely. I yes. mean, when you speak about managers getting fans on his side, he has to normally goes through the media. You know, everything we've heard about Jurgen Klopp and what he, the bonding with the Liverpool fans, it's not necessarily from the fans. You don't meet the fans every day. You are in no. Ghana, you are in Nigeria, you are in Gambia, you are watching us from or US or wherever. But it is the media who are going to tell you how they bond because mm-hmm. of their interaction with, with him and the way they report it. And that is what Otto has tried to do. I remember his first things, and I think he's been advised. He has. When he first came, he has learned. He was very much against the Ghanaian culture of how we viewed football. Yeah. And the kind of pressure that we attached to the national team. And everybody would have an opinion and others would be very hostile he, in the way they voiced it. He was out. very agitated. He didn't like the yeah. questions. He, he, he didn't was, like the questions. Some people were insulting the first him. first match and second yeah. there you see. But so this was I, definitely a very different Otto yeah, Ado. This was the... And his posture, compared to the his first posture one. as well, yeah. you know, was, was great. And the way he attempted the questions, I personally wasn't very satisfied with the way he answered most of the questions. I don't think he that's he, fine. He addressed a lot of them uh, well or gave the answers to them. Typical example is Danny is here. So, so you have lingering that. questions. Oh, yeah, there are plenty okay. of them. Plenty. Okay. Like Danny asked a very simple question about what the metrics would be for success in his contracts. What 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 how do we measure him? He said we should ask the GFA. But the point we are asking what? that what what is the what has the GFA discussed with you that what are the goals they've given you? What are the targets they've set for you? Mm. So if you tell us- He wasn't goal, specific, but he did say that he knows that this is a result-based job. So if the results are no, not no, good, no. but no. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm making the same, no, I'm making the, coach. you and I are making the same point, yes. that he wasn't specific on what those results should be. Yes. That's, that's uh, your football point. Football is always a results game. 
even Comoros can sack their coach or uh, uh, some island somewhere can sack their coach because they've lost 30 times. Mm. Ferro Islands Same can kicks. sack their, you know. So it's always a results game. But we're asking questions about what Ghanaians, and that's the thing that we've always not necessarily been truthful about. What should Ghanaians expect, right? If Otto tells us he's here to lay the foundations for the next two years, and hopefully within that period, try and get Ghana to be competitive to win, but we should be patient. It is better. As we speak, Ghanaians are still expecting Ghana to go to the next AFCON and win. Because he also mentioned even the World Cup. Daniel actually gave that example that, for example, are you expected to qualify for the World Cup? Yes. Are you expected to win the next AFCON? Yes. The World Cup, he said, we want to qualify. Yeah, obviously, we want to qualify. Yes, but he didn't say he has to qualify. Obviously, Two obviously we want to qualify. Who doesn't want to of qualify? Of course. Madagascar wants to qualify. But what you don't know is whether if he doesn't qualify, it will warrant it means for the job yes. and what it means exactly. for the project. I get you. Or what the real project with Otto Ado is. Yeah, I get, right? you. I get you. And he didn't also take the opportunity to maybe explain why some of the older generation players are not in the team. There's a new project that moved to the next phase. So they had to be ruthless with, you know, even dropping the captain, Andrea, you. So there are still many, many questions. And I can tell him that the expectations of Ghanaians after yesterday's press conference is the same as it was when he went to the AFCON. Nobody has dropped expectations for these black stars. <coughs> they're expecting these black stars to do as well as they've always thought they should do. So even if he goes to the AFCON and, and gets knocked out in the last 16, people are going to be disappointed. If he, mm. if he plays against Mali and doesn't get the result, people will be disappointed. Nobody will say that he asked for time. Nobody will say that he told us that he was building so it's going to take time because they didn't measure the expectations for anybody mm -hmm. so that was that but like i said the general posture and everything around the press conference even henry asante who was taking the moderating it also yep. did well i mean the way he it was a relaxed atmosphere and i love that then to the team itself mm -hmm. i don't have a lot of problems with some of the players that have come and i was expecting big changes from Otado. you see we've always needed did an opportunity yeah we've always needed an opportunity to reset the Black Stars. We've been shying away from it because some coaches have not shown that they have the balls to do that. And Otto Ado is the one who has shown that he's got the balls. It is two things for him. It might be for football reasons and the projects he wants to do going forward or culture or to win a lot of the Ghanaian fans. Now, when you monitor the airways, Also, if then add a third one to build a new culture. Yeah, yes, because to, the to, old to, generation... Yes, had its own problem. Want to yes. It in, yes, and build it. Now, for a lot of Ghanaian fans... You mentioned that a lot in the press, uh, multiple times. Which is important. Yeah. For, the, for the, a lot of Ghanaian uh, uh, football fans, many of them didn't want to see some players in this team. They were hoping that the national team would move away from them. And what he did... Could, could though, you go through a list for me? Like, from what you've gleaned from social media and listening to radio, we've been on radio a long time. Who in the squad today, now, do you think people wanted to get rid of? The, the current squad that he named. The current squad that he named, nobody. Okay. He's gotten rid of everybody they wanted to get rid I of. I think so. Okay. I don't think so. I think so. I think I think that for most of the people that people didn't want to see, they're away from the team. Yeah. The first example would be the captain, okay. Andrea Yu. Okay. And Richard Ofori, Daniel Amate. Yeah. These are players who only last year, irrespective of how they performed for their clubs, or even if they didn't there. have clubs, they would come with the excuse that they are more experienced heads. We need them around these young players. There's no Amate here. There's no Andrea you here. You know, like there are some, I don't even think Dennis Odoi would have been part of the squad if he knew was fit. I don't think so, right? So he's he sets, he's, he's, he's had the ball to do what many Ghanaians were calling the Ghanaian code to do. So when you read around social media and the Ghanaian fans' reaction, people are very okay with their squad. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 like they, I said, they're they're very, this is not no, a, they, a they, controversial they, squad at all. Then comes the job. There is one or two, three names there. That <laughs> you were asked to your opinion. You were asked to state your opinion. He said he to your opinion. He said he's commenting on the team. But he has to talk about the team. But I said talk about the team. The comment, the comment was on the team. But you asked to talk about the team. You go ahead, let me roll. The team. Coach wants to disrupt everything. I don't understand. The coach says he wants to talk about the team. Don't mind that. You, bring in your thoughts on the squad itself. Yeah. The players in the... The ones who should have been in there, the yeah. ones who shouldn't be, that, that kind of thing. Yeah, um, listen, Fence, um, I look at the squad and I have too many problems okay. with the team. Okay. I just think a player like Kamal Din Suleiman, there's no justification to why he's in the team. Considering that the position that he plays, Ghana is sport for choice. And we've got many, many Ghanaian players. He's not played a lot. He's not for... played. He's not played. He's the most expensive signing for Southampton. 
in yes. the club's history. Yes, yes. The, cl- the the coach doesn't trust him to to play consistent. It's not like he's been injured throughout the season. He's been fit on and been on the bench, coming to play two minutes at times, being on the bench unused, and what have you. He hasn't looked for, good for him this season. So I'm very surprised that he's in the team, right? Where because the there we team? have Ibrahim Osman. Yes. We have Osman Bukhari. Bukhari. Jordan, you can do a job there. Jordan can do a decent job And for job the players who they didn't even call like Benat Tekwiti. Benat Tekwiti's case is very curious. I don't know why they constantly overlook him. It's so unfair. He's been named in the Bulgarian team, team of, of the, the season. Year. Yeah. He's won the fourth consecutive league title yeah. with them. Yeah. He's had a great he's season. He's got about 11 goals or something. He's yes. Got, yeah, he's had a great season. No blaster score. Absolutely. It's, it's just not right. right. It's just not... It, it doesn't make sense to me. So, and this is probably the first time you can look at the squad and say, he should be there ahead of someone like Kamaldi. That's what first, you are saying. Actually, it's not the first time. Okay. In the last two years, almost every call-up for those wide players, he's better... He's, been, he's always been better than Nyama. So why does Nyama get into the team with that? And he doesn't... What's the team? issue with Nyama? No, I'm saying that Tegbeti has always been, since Nyama burst onto the scene, Tegbeti has always been better than him. How do you define that? Oh, Tegbeti has just played productivity. Them. Productivity and everything. Uh-huh. That's what you see. No, it's he, I don't the... need to go there and explain. He's been a better player for the sake of him. those watching. He's had he's better performances. Oh, no, he's That's been a better player than him. I don't need to mention performance and stats. He's been a better player than is him. He, is he better? No? Some people can misconstrue yeah. that to mean is he more talented or is he... He's shown more talent than him too. He's a better at least. No, that's what I mean. Listen. Nyama is a better prospect because of age. But Tegbeti has shown more talent than him. More consistency. Yes, he's been a better player. You see, when I say he's been a better player, all the factors come together to align. Yes. Yes. But you don't necessarily play in the same position. Nyama has been used in a position where Tegbeti can play before in the Black Stars. That is also true. Yes. So I'm saying that uh -uh. Bella Tegbeti has been better than even Osman Bukhari at times when Osman Bukhari has been called. Joseph Pinzel is out injured. Yeah. Um... That's actually one area where we've had lots of talent. That's lots why of talent. if Tekwete is not getting into the team at a time when there is no Inaki Williams, there is no Joseph Paints. That's a big deal. There is a badly out of color Kamal Din Sulemana in the team. Yeah. It means it's maybe it's, he doesn't have an have, issue. Have okay, an so you have finally, an issue there. I have an issue there. Where else? Then finally, finally, I think Otto did well back on Otto then rapper. Otto did well with the way he addressed Andrea Yu's issue. We didn't have to go into the games talking about why Andre didn't come. So when he said he started conversations with him, um, obviously, of course, he wouldn't be happy with all of them. But he doesn't want to talk about players who are in the squad. He wants to talk about players who are in the squad. That ends the conversation. Another manager goes on to say, so I've told him that the door is still open. Even though he said, never say never after another question was asked. He would have gone into more details about the conversation, how the captain maybe reacted and everything. But as we speak now, that conversation is dead. Yeah. Everybody's looking forward to the game that is to come. And I feel a bit sorry for Andre because Andre would have gone to Le Havre trying so hard to prove everything to the, new, to the new coach of the Black Stars that he still got it. Andre is in a better form now than he was when Otto first had the job. And at the time, Andre was then his captain. And the whole time you think was a judge. Yes. And at the time, he still was his captain and took him to the World Cup. Now that Andre has found the club, plays every week in one of the strongest leagues in the world. Scoring. Scoring goals and performing. He's not been said not to be good enough. The reason, surely, it's, it's not, not about, about performance. It's not about performance. It's got to be about just Future, wanting to direction. move on in direction. But that would be harsh. And for Andre, I think that is the end for him. I don't see any how he gets back to the squad because I don't see how. No matter how perform. well he performs, I don't. I don't think because Andre, he's performing well now. He's not been included. I don't so. think Andre gets better than this. That's yeah. the point. So the point. I think that is the end for captain. And maybe then um, Ghana has to find a way of honorably. Honorably, maybe seeing him off. I think the problem is always tr- trying to live on your own terms. You know, it, he's not the only one. We've had this issue Everybody, with them. Everybody, every star. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, that like, you can't, it, it, it can't, it's an it African doesn't, thing. yeah, it doesn't always work out like that. But there had been many opportunities for Andre to walk away. So many, actually, in the last, maybe the last two years. Um, and he could have done it um, very honorably. I'm not saying that the current situation, if he doesn't make it back to the team, it's necessarily embarrassing. But he would not have left on his own terms. And that would be less ideal. Not, not to cut you, but quick question. Yes. If you were the head coach, okay, picking a squad strictly by footballing merit, what they've done at the club football, yeah. would you have picked Andrea? I definitely would not have. What they've done on club football? Strictly on what they had done in club yeah. football. Where does he play? In the league, ah. 
No, 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 not that. Like in the as a center forward, center forward. You've as named a, a squad with Semenyo, who's not played as a center, center forward. Who struggles season. in that position? You've named. It's not Brand- necessarily a center forward, though. Yeah, that's what he does. That's what he does. Le Hav. Yeah, no, but but even with Le Hav, I'm not sure he is. I, I I feel like he's more of a. He's a second striker. striker yes, yeah. I, exactly. So I don't think he is necessarily an out and out. But Semenyo is not not even a but striker in the black he's stars not, team now. I get it, Fence. In the Black Stars team now, if you're looking for someone to who plays, who Anything tries by, to a striker, do you get more value from Andre than from Kudus as a striker? In no, in the in the role that Andre is thriving, playing off a striker, second striker, whatever. Yeah. Well, I think I think they have Kudus. No, in fact, the reason why I ask you the question. Okay, is you go see, on. If in the past, last year by this time. It would have made perfect sense in terms of footballing merit as to why Andre should interview him. So there was a time he didn't even have a club. Yeah, like yeah. he was making. Like he was getting class. called up. There was a time when he went to Nottingham Forest. He was sitting on the bench the whole time, still got a call up. This time he's playing. This time he's scoring, and he doesn't get a call up. My point is, when you say he should have left on his own uh, evolution or honorably on terms. terms, on own terms, from the player's point of view, he's performing. He's performing. Yeah. That's why I was, I've always maintained this in terms of consistency. It is up to the manager. And with international football, and until you are Tony Cruz, who is still performing at a high level, and you say, I'm going. Mm. But you see, it's, it is always very difficult for, for certain players to accept what everybody is thinking. Because once he believes that he's still playing at a, set, at a certain level where Look, if he was not good enough, he would not be called to the Premier League. If he was not good, good enough, he would not earn a call-up in, in France. He would not be very central in the have survival yeah. this season. So clearly, he's good enough to be playing at a certain level. Now, it is up to us, Ghana, to say we don't need you again. That's right. And that's what we've done. So it is not on the player refusing to leave the stage when the applause was high or whatever. It is us. We are the one building. We are not, it's not about Andre. We are the one building. I think the reason that Andre conversation came in, it's because of what Otto said. Otto said when he spoke to him, he didn't agree. Of course. Yeah, he's, you don't yes, I know. I get it. It's and his you see, and, 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 that is, and, that is, and, and that is very ironic because, like you rightly mentioned, it's up to the manager. And the irony is that there was a time when Andre didn't play football at all. He was getting called up ahead of players who were playing. My friend, the and caveat here is the caveat here is yes. that was not under Otto. Yeah. No, I get it, right. but it's still the same national team. Yes. Good. So there were people that felt that at the time when Andre was getting called up without a club or without actively playing, even at his club level, even when he got the club, they deserved it more based on their performances. The coach left them out. And that was the end of that. And of course, the conversations always happen. Shouldn't be in there. But, you see, but, the, but the point is, when those players were left out, did they agree with the reasons that were given? No, because they the, were playing. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm saying that it's a big, it's a big irony. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that it's um, that Andre is in the wrong. No, my disappointment would have or, been if Andre agreed that. Okay, I accept. I'm okay. That would be. Yeah, yeah, I would have no, no, no. Right. Why? I, yeah, yeah. Why? I mean, no. So, for, because, but because line, of the passion like, is always yes. shown to play for the Black Stars and everything. If the coach says that Andre, I'm not calling. Andre says, okay, yeah, I'm okay. I would have had a, I would have thought, are you serious? You are playing the best football in your last two years, and you're not going to get to the call up. You're not going to get a call are, up, and you're okay. Are you saying no. he's playing his best football in the last two years, or he's playing his best football in the last, in the last two six months. months? Yeah, it's not, not, it's not, it's not months, the last two, two months. Years. The last two years he hasn't played anything. Ah, so I'm saying he's playing his best two football. Months. No, ah, you didn't hear what I said. Listen, listen. listen. Ah, he's playing his when best football. When you look football. at the form that Andrea has had over the past, the past two years, he's now this playing is his, his best, best football. That's what okay, I'm, okay. Yes, so so bottom yes. line, bottom, bottom, bottom line is that yes, Andre disagreed with the decision, but he, but like you're saying, he could have agreed with it, um, even if the coach gave his reason. Because what you see, what I know for a fact is that after Andrea, you scored those two goals when he went back to Leav after the half call. Also, I do pick a car and drove Ooh, six actually. hours uh, to Germany. To, uh, sorry, to France from Germany to go and talk to Andre. Are you about this? So but they the, sat down. The goals don't matter. Yeah, so they sat down for long hours. <laughs> what is consistent? Yes. Football so is so they, they sat down for long hours. Him trying to explain his decision. 
And so. ob- obviously, I, I think, yes, every look, and, and I totally understand it. Andre is in the right to say, I don't agree with your reasons, but I accept it. And he's not made a scene. He's not done anything. He's a top professional. Well, like there's Fifi. Not, there's nothing he can do about it. Yeah, yeah no, no. It, oh, yes, sure. But, you know, he's a top professional. He's the team's captain. We've seen players make scene out of being left out of squads because uh, I think... He uh, himself has done it. In yeah, the because like the two of you have said, j- based on merit, he would feel that he deserves a place. But I'm saying that it's very ironic because there had been a time when he was called up uh, and he wasn't on merit. So, you know, that's how the world works. You, you, you can't, you know, it, it's very unpredictable. Sometimes he goes for you, sometimes he doesn't. But he's made the decision. And I think, for example, that Otoado is very clear in his mind what he's trying to do. And I need to hammer on this point. I think he's trying to shift the culture of the team and shift the power play in the team from Andre Ayu's camp or Andre Ayu and all the people you're that... you're making the points for us. About why? Me too. I can't make my point. That he should, hurry it, up and come. Let me fire. That the <laughs> auto is trying to... And you see, and, and listen, I, 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 I understand it. I totally understand it. Because we've had these conversations many times in the past about uh, a certain cultural situation in the team that is not necessarily ideal. We've had the whispers about all these things of, you know, division, what have you. And all of it may not have been Andre Ayu's fault. I think Andre Ayu has had a remarkable Black Stars career. If I were ranking top Black Stars players, Andre Ayu would finish in the top 10 for me, like all time. And it doesn't matter that he didn't win an AFCON. Just by the sheer fact that this guy had been present for this country for more than 100 times. You know, the record appearance maker in the history of the Black Stars, that alone is remarkable. He is top five goal scorer in the Black Stars history. You don't achieve those numbers by being a peripheral figure or by being favored. And he's come up clutch many times for the national team. He's 34 now. He served his country remarkably, excellently, I have to say. But there comes a time when teams move on. And a bit of history might be important in helping Andre Ayu and anybody else around him settle on this and accept the fact that perhaps uh, the team is trying to move on from him. He can hold on to straws and fight all he wants. And Andre is a fighter and I think he will fight. He will keep performing. But I think the guys have made the point that it is very clear that it doesn't matter what kind of performance Andre Ayu puts up at club level, it doesn't look like Otto Ado has him in his plans. Because if it is based on performance alone, his current form most definitely perhaps merits a place. I would not have chosen him. The coach didn't, didn't choose him. That's a very personal decision on the coach, uh, from the coach. And it's a decision that I agree with. But if it's based on performance, there's an argument to be had. It's happened before. We have a history in the Black Stars of players not walking away even when the signs are clear. You don't necessarily need to wait to be pushed out. A lot of Black Stars players wait to be pushed out. And it's a lesson for many of them. And it seems nobody ever learns the lesson. CK Akono found out that he was not going to be part of the Black Stars team while he was captain in 2002 when they named the squad and didn't name him. BBC called him for an interview and said, well, what's your reaction to not being named in the squad? He said, ah, I've not been named in the squad. He didn't even get the courtesy that Otto gave Andre Ayu right now. We remember the story of Sile Muntari. He was suspended from the national team for long. He didn't like that. They said, he said he had, he came to apologize all in, after two years, all in an attempt to try to get back to the national team. It didn't work. We've had issues, even the cuff Stephen appear, you know. So uh, it's happened, okay? And maybe there might be a time he still gets back into the national team, like she should joking, jokingly says all the time. Capito is preparing for the AFCON. And it's possible we might still see him. Well, he's being arrested for the AFCON. <laughs> he's being arrested for the AFCON. Like, he's but being arrested. I want to say that for anybody that is under I use calm. This is not like there's nothing to be bitter about this. There's nothing to complain about. There's, there's absolute. Look, Andre is a Black Stars legend. It doesn't matter that he's in this team or he is not. He is a Black Stars legend. And we understand for those of us, and 
actually was very close to Chris Hutton. We understood why Chris Hutton kept calling him, even though he didn't have a club. And it was because of that, that whole cultural issue in the team. Otto is trying to build a new culture. Maybe the Andre culture, because and the culture I'm talking about is not necessarily a poisonous culture. It was just a case of Andre having a lot of authority. And if he wasn't in the team, nobody else took responsibility. That is a, actually a positive for him, you know, but it's also bad for the team that only one person always took responsibility. So maybe now Otto Ado is trying to shift that responsibility around by getting Andre, are you out of the team? So, so many other people can take up responsibility. And even for the players who are in the team now, who become captains, who the team, uh, whom the team will be built around, the responsibility is huge. Don't let us down. Don't let us down. Now, we can continue on the decision on the squad. And your thoughts on... Um, Coach, you want me to come to you? Yeah, I can, I, I'm ready to talk now. Okay, go, go on. <laughs> You see, no more. Yes, no more. Uh, Fent, before I comment on the squad, let me tell Otuado that we have to qualify to the World Cup. He will not be judged differently from any other manager. He shouldn't think that because there's transition. He can afford not to qualify. He gets fired the next day. No two ways about it. If he doesn't qualify? Yes, yes. Is that yes. the standard you've set for this national team? Ah. Is that a consistent standard? What are you talking about? Because I was about qualify? to take you back to history and tell you that there have been coaches that have not qualified for the World since Cup. Since when? 2018. Ah, no, but since we started qualifying to the World Cup. It, we missed the World Cup. qualify to the World Cup? We missed the World Cup in 2018. Do you know what happened? Yes. Avram Grant started the qualifiers. Kwesi Apia took over with still a chance to qualify for the World Cup. He did not. Event we didn't fire him. You and I know why Kwesi was not fired at the time, isn't it? Yeah. Political interference. <laughs> you don't want us to go there. You don't want us to go there, class. So the point I'm making is that. I don't even think there was a, an uproar about him not qualifying Fent, for the World Cup. let me flow. Was that? Fent. That wasn't because the blame was shifted on Avram Grant for not starting the qualifiers Fent, well. Let me and at the time, he could have beaten Egypt. Here so that's the consistency I want. So I don't want him to go ahead. What consistency? So the, what, and previous what, coach didn't start the qualifiers what, 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 well. We've played two games. You lost one Listen, to Comoros. We've, we've played two games. We've won one. We've lost one. Yes. 50-50. That's not How many well. games do we have left to be played? We have eight. So he cannot say that he cannot be held responsible if we don't qualify. Kwesi Apia. Oh, listen. I'm listening. Don't, keep, don't be mentioning Kwesi Apia, Kwesi Apia. Forget about Kwesi Apia. <laughs> it's history. I should mention Jackie Apia. The point I'm making is this. <laughs> Otto Ado must be told. That is why some of us were a bit worried. When uh, we are still worried, when the FA cannot tell us what the indicators are, the performance indicators, where, what they are. Cannot spend 25 30 million dollars on this team and not qualify. It will never happen. If he fails to qualify, he gets the sack. Just like any other manager in the past. That should be put aside. A clap for him. This is your face. Man. He's done something. Oh, no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't God, you're out of frame. Oh, God, you're out of frame. Oh, Listen up. Oh, oh. <laughs> What are the praises for? Tell us. Oh, in dropping Andre. I have been an advocate for four years. <laughs> <laughs> Decay. <laughs> when I'm talking like this, don't do that. When you do that, you disrupt my thought. <laughs> Look, it's long overdue. Okay. And I've said nobody supports Andre. You know me, me when I support something, if nobody comes second. That's right. Andre should have gracefully left the scene four years ago. Four years ago. When he After, was 30? You no, know, when he was given the armband. Was it four years? 
2019 was five years ago. After perf- Cameroon? Of course. Per- Since the, his performance has been that. It's you mean he should have left after, after Cameroon? Egypt. 2021. After, 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 after Egypt. Egypt. Cameroon was 2017. After, after Egypt. Egypt. Yes. He should have left. Egypt. Ah, when CK first took over the team. No. When Akwesi gave him the amber. 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 Yeah. After that tournament, he should have exited. Oh. But since then, it's not gotten any better. So I'm happy. Otwado, I'm happy that you've taken a proper coaching decision. This is what I call proper coaching decision. All so right. So Andre out. Okay. That's a very excellent move by the head coach. Very well established. Now, after singing Oto, 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 Ibaba, Ibaba, Ibaba. Let's go department by department. That's right. You see, this is why we will get beat in Babako. <laughs> because the goalkeeping department is extremely very, very poor. Is it? It is. A T is there. No, for, you know he's my boy. You see, me, I, I'm not a hypocrite. But who would you have That's right. Ah, place of I would have taken Razak Abaloa. I would have taken the Dreams FC goalkeeper. I'm telling Agbasi you. has not been good in the league. You say what? He's not been great Forget in the about. league. He's been voted the best goalkeeper in the CAF Confederation Cup. Have you, watched him? Have, you watched, have you watched him in the Ghana Premier League? Though? I, I don't need to watch him there. <laughs> he has proven that when it comes to international recognition, he's there. Razak Abaloa. He plays in Moldova. Oh my goodness. Dojo Wolokot. Plays in Scotland. How many games have he played? Dojo. You see, we are not honest with our selection. Okay. The Kotoko goalkeeper. Is he the best goalkeeper in Africa? Frederick Azar. I don't think he is. Ah, what is this? I think he's good. I think he's talented. He has the what is this? But you see, you yeah, cannot, he's yeah, but he's good with his You team. cannot be treating our national team like that, and you expect people not to show concern. Look, when it comes to the national team, eh, you cannot bend the rules to favor certain players. So this got to goalkeeper all day. The media man goalkeeper is better than him. All day, the dreams FC goalkeeper is better than him. I will see. All day. They are all better than him. Is it because we are going to play the game in Kumasi? That is why you need a Kotoko player to be like they took, uh, uh, what is the name of the uh, damn boy? Richmond, Lamte, and just made him a spectator all day? At the AFCON. At the AFCON? You can't do that. Look, it's a specialized department that flourished based on healthy competition. As we speak, Chicho, there's no competition in that department. You and I know, I sit in and know Ati is the obvious number one because he he will play all day. But isn't that isn't the case, that the case many, with many, many goalkeeping yeah. departments? Though? No. That's always an obvious number one. When it comes one. to the national, at club level, you can afford to do so. Even as that, team, No. At, it doesn't mean if you have a better goalkeeper elsewhere, you cannot bring him on, 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 on to be part of the team in anticipation that this man is my number one. Razak Abaloa deserves to be in this team. Nobody can tell me anything else. Nobody. The start speaks for the performance speaks for itself. Okay. He should be in the team. So me, if you are building a team and your the very foundation is that wrong, on the 6th of June, it will reflect. Coach, let me ask you, is, is Razak a better goalkeeper than at Lawrence? Has seen? Yes, I think he is currently. Yes. Okay. So wait, I, I, hold on, hold on. So if I get you right, you're telling me that Abalora should not only have been in the team. You would have picked him at your I'll number call one. I'll him and I'll pick him as my number one. At your, in your starting 11. Yes, as I speak. Today, 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 today. Look. Okay. The Let's go I'm to the defense. Here, the point I'm making here is a very hard point for me to make. I get it. Because I am saying that a player I natured, a player I trained, you 12, you 14, a player whose, whose hand I held before leaving Ghana and took him to Red Bull and say, go here. I don't want you to um, destroy yourself. I'm going to study. When I come back, I'll take care. That is Ati. Right. So for me to be saying the sort of things against my own player, you should know how difficult it is. National interest first. first. I've always told you this. Yeah. Even if my wife, Susa, is not up to the tax, I will drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. DK, that is my co trained partner. Yeah. If she's not up to the tax, I will drop it. <laughs> I love that. That is your oh, my partner. 
<laughs> Look, I, mean, I don't do my things like that. Too. It's about the standard. Now okay. let's go to defense. What's wrong with the defense? I think that is one department that I am very, very satisfied. Who would you start with the choices now? Because you're you're happy with the choices. It depends how on would the you... system the man wants to play. If I'm going to start, is he? So let me just put you on the on the spot here. Jiku starts all day. He's our best centre back. Who goes with him? Salisu or Mumin? I will play Mumin. Salisu is from this season at United. Mumin has been a, a, a much more consistent. He, because he's not been given a proper look in for the Black Stars. He's not even had his debut yet. Debut for the Black Stars. That is where I'll be a bit jittery. Because look, we are going to the Lions' den next week, Thursday. Mbamako. That is the Lions' den. So yeah. you have to go in for players. But hey, this he's played at the Benabao. He's played so... Look. Otto, be bold. <laughs> put him inside. Be bold and put him inside. Because the last time I listened to tender for the national team, it, was it wasn't bad. great. It was very, very bad. This was at the AFCON. That was our own fault. My, that wasn't much for Much for And then we pushed him in. The problem I have with this team is at left back. I don't think we have any better player. Ricky John and Ebenezer Anna, those are the options. And they don't come. Mm. Gideon Menza has been named in the League 2 team of the season in other words he's the best left back in the whole of League 2 they gain promotion back to League 1 that's good mm. and when it comes to the black star he doesn't convince <laughs> okay defensively well, that, he's never convinced me. okay you understand what I'm saying mm. so that is problematic now I don't know why and what a Kuban I don't know what he has to do. Interpretate that Sicho spoke about to be part of this team. What's Caleb Cuban's form like this season? I know last season he was great. I'm not sure about this oh, season. I mean, this season, he plays in the Serie A. I've yeah. watched him several times. If can yes. Get some, and he's a center forward, he's a, center a, forward. A, a striker. How many very goals physical, this season? Very combative. The Cuban doesn't play in a team that necessarily. That's what I'm saying. By his outputs and his efforts. Look, when you watch, watch him play, yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a when you watch him play, yeah. I mean, I was his I watch output. Him every time. Yeah. He's, he's a handful for a lot of defenders. For, for like, he's of played defenders. 29 games this ah, season bah. for yeah. Genoa. Ah, yeah. He's scored four goals yes. and made one assist. Yes. yes. Genoa is not a team they're expecting to create a lot of chances for that. If you watch them, when Genoa plays, you just know how Genoa plays. The reason why I'm mentioning his name is because. I've watched him play not less than 10 times. And I've told myself, wow. I don't think we've treated him well since he At missed all. that penalty in 2019. We just in 2019, kinda... we've just thrown him away. It's yeah. all his fault. But to be honest with you, this is a player who should be in our team. Da da da. Baby. 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 What is his quality? I do doing mm. this thing. Another question. But he has been playing no more. Oh, no more. After no, more no, after no, no but to be fair, no, Daniel is stating really facts. He's just telling you, yeah. He's, he's been playing. He's got some good performances. Yeah, he's been playing. Yeah. That Look, one Edmond, day. Edmond, uh, yes. Yeah. Since he made he made a loan move. After yeah. the half court. He's been playing. Now, he's been he's playing been consistent. Playing. What the I'm one who has not been playing is Salis. I'm coming I'm coming to him. <laughs> Let me deal with Edmond. Okay. Look. As we speak, we don't even know how Otto is going to use Edmund. The last two games, he used him as a center back. Mm. The least said about him, the better. Very poor, very bad. And that was mm. a coaching mistake, not on the play. Now too, in midfield, you and myself, we all sitting here, we've watched Edmund for the Black Star. He cannot even control and pass. He can't do it. Control and pass. <laughs> 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 you are doing all the passes. <laughs> he can do that. Look, I remember I sat at the Babaira and I watched him for close to 70 minutes. Anytime he went forward, he gave the ball away. I watched him alongside Salis. Salis practically coached him throughout the game. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And that where uh, was it that Angola game? Yes, you were at the Barbara. And we also said, ah, no, what? but is he that, that the guy no, he played for like four? Oh, months. forget it. You see, 
Oh, he, goodness. He's not good enough for the Black Stars. Which isn't to be, and then he says, it, I we, I we, don't really have a problem of always killing players and their confidence. Is it's it? like Salisu. Yeah. Salisu, not, we are here discussing why Salisu should start ahead of Mumin. Not because we don't know Salisu is good. It's simply What's because that? at the AFCON, we mis- we actually caused this problem. Yeah. It wasn't much when we played him. For uh, uh, Ado, Ado, I remember going into that game. Ado had been on the... It wasn't even at times on the match day squad give for his me, team. Give then me, he played. Give me actually, one Chucho. decent... Now, we both come out of Come out of Suleimana will start a game. He'll be terrible and will be like, next time, why should he come? Even you know if the maybe biggest, he plays. Actually, me. guys, do you know the biggest... The biggest example of what you just said? Misprofiling players, misapplying them, and then killing them for poor performance. Yeah. Oh, Atamalawe. 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 His debut game. This we guy was playing for Istanbul Besak They were winning the league. He played every single game in midfield. We see Apia called him against Congo. Congo. And threw put him, him right, right back. He was a the disaster. Congolese winger cooked him. And the after that, why, that was his end. That was the reason why you cannot liken the Edmo Ado situation to Atama is because. No, no, Edmo I'm just Ad- giving an example about Edmo Ado. 90% of the games he's played for the Black Stars he's played in, he's position. Played in his position. No, I wasn't talking about the position. It was here. Yeah, I'm lack of Edmo games, match fits. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. on Edmo Ado. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> you see, when people, maybe when I talk, you laugh. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, the Black Stars is not a matra macro ground. Who would you have? Who would I have? Uh, yes, the ahead of, of Edmond Ado. They didn't need to call 26 p.m. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I've answered no, the no, question. No, no, no. He's made a point. But it's there. Do you know, do there, you know how the coach wants to train? I've answered the question. Over the course of the two matches. You don't need to see 17. Do you know how the coach wants to train? No, you see, he was expecting me to mention a name. Otuado cannot train with 25. No, wait, 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 wait. No, do you know how the coach wants to train? Wait, wait, wait. The 26 players. Three of them are goalkeepers. Outfit players, 23. You, you are a coach. Ah. You know that they are coaching drills and principles. Need, oh, that requires you. Don't, don't, don't do that. that. Don't, don't do, do that. Don't do that. No, you don't do that. You are a coach. You know. You know that 23 is a is an adequate number. It's, it's yeah. so it's an Two adequate. For, no, no. You need to take out the three goalkeepers. It's and you do, and do 10 v 10. 10 blast, 10 you don't have any other players. Who told you to do 10 v 10 in no, serious training? I'm saying that if. if no, I'm saying that. He knows. He knows what I'm saying. And because that's, I know what you are, that's what I said. They shouldn't have called 26. That's the point. I'm but making. the outfit players are 23, and you know. And what I'm you saying say, 10 training plus with them is not 23. 11 plus 11 is not 23. But when you so are you trying to tell me? When that, you play, you play 10 v 10. No, but at the end of the day, you are saying that he didn't. I don't know how you were told one goalkeeper. Even if, if they choose to play. No, see, that's inside. why you're getting it wrong. No, that's why you are getting it wrong. No, okay. you don't coach, need to call 26 coach, players. Coach, if I get you right, f- instead of having Edmond Adu in the squad as you an would. option, you would rather have not called him at 25. all and not 20. brought another player in. At all, 25. So, uh, assuming there's Edmond Adu should just sit at home. A ball more than a Julian. Okay. All right. Well, your, your next up, issue is what? Your next issue is what? You understand? Your next issue is who? Then my next issue has to do with the opponent we are going to face. Mali. And how we are shaping this team to go and play them. Mm-hmm. See, we are doing transition. I have never seen any national team, I stand to be corrected, undergoing transition with an inexperienced manager. Hey. And young players. Hey. 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 Ashok. Hey. 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 Hey.